Hey guys, welcome to TechMan. Uh, on this video, we're doing a tutorial on how to uh, flash your Eureka to the latest um, Samsung mod right now. It is this uh, CM13 and this is Marsmeter 6.0.1. This is the latest as of right now. So I'm going to tell you that uh, this is not an official build. This is totally unofficial and uh, it was built by um, Dev on XDA Developer. Uh, so let's start. Okay, so uh, before doing anything, uh, I just want to warn you that if anything goes wrong, something bad happens, that's on you. Uh, we're not responsible for that, and so do it at your own risk. And we recommend you to at least uh, charge your device up to 80% and back, back up your uh, data and everything uh, because uh, this process will wipe out everything. So, yeah, okay, and that uh, we basically need three things the ROM, the main ROM. Google Apps and the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, and uh, so we're going to start from the Clockwork Mod Recovery. We need to install that first. But uh, before we can install the Clockwork Mod Recovery, we need to unlock our boot lock, uh, bootloader. So how to unlock that? Uh, we need to go to the fast boot mode and connect our device uh, to the PC. And uh, all of these files are. Uh, uh, all of those links and everything are in the description below. Uh, you also need ADV um, root, ADV git and some other stuff. Uh, everything is in the description below. Just uh, go there and buy, uh, get get them. Okay, so after downloading everything, um, let's uh, go to the fast boot mode. For that, um, you can go uh, open your mobile device right here. Go to the settings. About phone. And the about phone, uh, go down here, build number as you can see right here. Um, tap it like seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And go back. Now, as you can see, you have enabled developer option. As you can see right here, the developer option is right here. Go there and enable the advanced reboot. Then, enable the Android debugging. Okay. And then we need to enable, disable update sounds and recovery. Okay. After that, we can hold the power button and press reboot. Go to the bootloader right here. Okay. So now we're in the boot, uh, fast boot mode. Uh, uh, remember that you you need to connect your USB cable to the PC. Uh, otherwise, you can't um, boot into the fast boot mode. So um, before you enter to the, into the fast boot mode, check it out. Uh, okay, so in the fast boot mode, we're right here in the fast boot mode. Now the thing is, uh, we have to do is now on the computer. So let's move there. So right here, as you can see, I have the whole package right here. Uh, so this is uh, right now I have Lollipop installed um, in the device right now. So we have um, the Lollipop CWM recovery here and the KitKat CWM recovery. If you're upgrading from KitKat, you need to use this. And if you're upgrading from Lollipop, you need to use this. Uh, because Lollipop is 64 bit and KitKat is 32 bit. Now open this up. Before that, uh, as you can see here, there are some uh, you know, ADV commands right here to check everything you need, check if the device is getting detec detected right here. Check bootloader. A lot of bootloader, everything is here. So first of all, uh, we're going to check the device if uh, it's getting detected. Now, we are here in the Lollipop C uh, We need to go to the Lollipop CD recovery. Then right here, uh, press and hold shift key on a keyboard. Then uh, right click. Then as you can see, open command window right here. Then we can just paste that command right here and enter. See, uh, here it shows 3A23826 fastboot. That means we are getting our device right here. PC is detecting it. Now, uh, you know that you need to install drivers so that uh, your PC can detect it. But thankfully, Windows don't need that because it already has the um, uh, required, uh, you know, ADV files and drivers you need. You just need to go into the fastboot mode and the PC will automatically install them for you. Now after that, we're just gonna uh, unlock the bootloader. So first of all, we need to see if our bootloader is locked. So as you can see right here, check bootloader. 
copy and then paste it right here. There we go. Uh, sorry for that. Missing F. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's press enter. As you can see, it says device unlocked true. Now, we have, because it's, it says our bootloader is unlocked because we have already done the uh, you know unlocking part before. So if you haven't, you need to unlock it. Uh, how to unlock this? There is a command right here. Unlock bootloader. Just copy the whole thing without codes, of course, and then paste it right here and press enter. It will take some time and it will unlock your thing. Now, if it, if it doesn't unlock it, you need to try that again. Sometimes it happens, it doesn't, you know, like, you know, unlock right away. You need to do that twice, sometimes. But, you know, like, most of the time it will work. Now, after that, we need to uh, flash our recovery. Now, there are, there are, like, two types of recovery flashing, temporary flash for recovery and permanent flash recovery. So, temporary is, as you can, you know, like, understand that temporary is for just a short period of time um, after you reboot from the recovery it will it will vanish and you will get your stock recovery back now we, we're going to do a permanent flash recovery so we're going to use this command right here copy now you can see right here it says recovery name and also on this temporary thing recovery name now we need to change this recovery name to our recoveries name so right now uh, we need to install this recovery CW. now this recovery here is the stock one I mean, if you mess up or everything, uh, anything, you can just go back into the fast boot mode and uh, enable the recovery, um, the stop recovery. Now we're gonna install this, so we're just gonna copy the name and paste it right here. Then copy the whole thing. Then we're gonna just uh, paste it up here. Then enter. Now it says uh, send it recovery OK, writing recovery OK, finished. So we're finished. Now we need to just uh, uh, go into the recovery mode. Uh, how to do that? Let's just um, unplug out USB right now. now after that, uh, we can just hold the volume up down at the same time, then hold the power button. There we go. We can boot into the recovery. It's taking some time. There we go. So now, as you can see, hold on a bit. There we go. There we go. So now you can see the recovery is right here. But before we can install the files, we need to move those files to the SD card, right? So let's just reboot the device and go to the system. Yeah. So now remember that we have. Um, if you uh, unlock the bootloader, it's going to take some time for your device to re uh, reboot for the first time because it has already uh, you know, wiped out everything and um, made it reset. Okay, so we're here in the desktop and the files are right here. Hold on. So uh, there are two files right now, CM13 and we have the ARM64 6.0 stock files. Uh, everything, every single link is in the description below. You can just get them. But the uh, the Google Apps right here, the uh, the link we're providing is the opengapps.org. So you need to go there and select your choice of um, G apps. There are some options to get the stock, get uh, minimal or anything. You need to select ARM64, then 6.0, then whatever you know, like uh, G apps you need. So yeah. So we're just going to copy it and paste it up in the stories. There we go. Okay. So the files are here. Let's uh, go back to the device and reboot it to the recovery. Now remember that we've already go gone into the settings and um, uh, use the advanced reboot so we can just go into the reboot right here and recovery okay okay so in the recovery right now so we need to first uh, wipe out data and wipe gas and dalvik uh, partitions so let's uh, first wipe data right now yes wipe all user data it's gonna take some time
So now the data wipe is complete. We need to go to the wipe gas partition and wipe it. Okay, gas wiped. Now go, we need to go into the advanced option here and uh, you can see right there wipe the gas. Let's wipe it. And the gas wiped. Now that's done. Let's go back. Then install zip. Choose zip from SD card. Zero. There we go. CM13.0 on official tomato. Let's do this. That's gonna take some time. Give it some time. Alright, so as you can see, script succeeded, result was installed from SD card, complete. Now that's done, let's do the G apps. Okay, so uh, we just encountered a problem with the stock Google Apps file and uh, uh, it wasn't compatible because of the storage. I mean, the, after, after flashing the CM13 or the you know, Marshmallow, I, our system didn't have enough uh, storage space for the whole stock file to install. So we had to go to the opengfs.org again and uh, select the, the micro uh, gfs file and so I would recommend you to go there and get the micro file instead of the stock file and install that. Again, you just need to go to the opengfs.org, select the ARM64 platform, select Android 6.0, variant is micro then download it. Again, the, all of the instructions are in the description below if you need to read them. And uh, so yeah, now uh, the files are here, so let's just install the gapps. Go to the install gif. Right now, uh, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the gapps files are in the uh, SD card. So we're moving to the SD card, the external SD card, not the internal one. And uh, in the SD card, as you can see right here, OpenGFs ARM64 6.0 Micro. We're just gonna install it. There we go. There we go, as you can see, removing existing or obsolete apps, installing updated G apps. Now, the micro uh, feature here, it includes uh, your normal, you know, uh, Google frameworks and everything you need, and the Google Play Store. And some you know like stock applications I mean the old stock applications not the new ones like Google Chrome uh, YouTube they're not included in here just the normal thing that uh, so that you can operate your uh, mobile device here now you can go to the Play Store of course and download anything you want like Chrome YouTube Gmail and uh, your you know the Google keyboard and such stuff so yes All right, so now the installation is completed. Now, uh, after installation is complete, we can just go back and then reboot the system now. Okay, so guys, uh, this is the first reboot, so it might take up to 30 minutes. You need to be patient. There we go, Marshmallow, as you can see right here. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we're just going to fast forward it. All right, guys, so we're here, and this is the welcome menu right here. Welcome, uh, select the language. Of course, select Wi-Fi network, okay, just going to select the network right now and skip this part. Now this keyboard here is the normal keyboard, AOSP keyboard. This is not the Google uh, Google's new keyboard where you can just enable the swap, this is not. So we need to download that and some other stuff. And so here we go, connect, there we go, next. Okay, SIM card is miss, missing. We can just put the SIM card letter to Sanjay Mart start. 
there you have it people hold on what is this Google Now Launcher Triple Say we can use our Google Now Launcher I like that you're welcome wallpaper with just settings everything got it okay this one is this one's nice looks good okay this is the default browser right now uh, as you can see there and um, no okay always oh, sorry about that okay so sound is SD card detected source that's that's pretty nice it actually does show you what um, manufacturer uh, the card is from and uh, USB for charging nice USB debugging enabled okay uh, some nice things these are some uh, nice features right here let me just change to my personal Wi-Fi right now there we go okay so uh, okay. what is what is this wow this this is good you can actually change your things from here Bluetooth up here this is actually a nice thing edit tiles nice one you can edit your tiles from here and you can also nice uh, you got two new like you know like uh, you can swipe through to change your uh, I mean to get to new icons and stuff and here's the settings let's go check out a lot of phones first as you can see here Android version is 6.0.1 model number AO5510 and everything you need sounds in mod updates you can also update this thing and um, you get your build number and of course you get this Android security pass level uh, December 1 2015 this is nice you get the security pass too and let's just go in there and get the thing up here there we go this is the normal easter egg you get all the time and this is the game here three two one there we go okay don't have time for this okay so new sign in is asking for everything this is good you can also set up the SD card that's actually a nice thing use as portable storage use as internal storage perfectly done this is some awesome features as you can see right here um, we can talk about these features later Alright guys, so that's it for now and this is how you install CM13, um, Samsung Mod 13 and this is the Marshmallow, looks great, Android 6.0 right here. Thanks for watching again and please subscribe to us if you like this video, uh, la hit that like button and uh, do comment us about anything and uh, if you if you're having some trouble you can also ask us. Again, uh, thank you and have a nice day.